Hi, Jason here from the Bearded Gentleman with... Always good friend, Kenny. Alright, so... Yeah, back to Mass Effect here. Episode 5, is it? Yes. Yes. We're on episode 5, and how are all you lovely people doing? Alright, so we're finally almost done with the uh, Citadel here. Hopefully. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have said anything, like, two episodes ago about Game dying. Over. About dying a shit ton. That was just not a good run. Oh, that was so funny. My name is Samesh Patil. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Okay, so dope. What can I do for you? My wife was a marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse <laughs> That's request? garbage. For some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. Yeah, let's go figure this shit out. Mr. Foster. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. The officer's lounge. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. What a good dude. Yeah, so we're thinking this is probably going to be the last um, video of this session. Like, we, we've just been sitting here since, like, what? Fucking... 4.30 or 5? I don't know. I actually didn't look at the clock when we started. Oh, it goes by quick. Especially when you're really enjoying it. Ooh, another keeper. Nice. Yeah, Elcor. Yay! Delighted, welcome. <laughs> I fucking love those guys. There's a bar somewhere to one of these places here. Uh, oh, oh, that's Executor fucking Palin. Or Palin. Oh, here we go. There's that guy. Bosker. Bosker's the one we're looking for. Is it Bosker? Yeah. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Give us the corpse. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble cleaning his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. Good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. Uh. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. It's not right, though. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. God damn right we win. It's hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Well, at least he was good about it. Yeah. And that could have gone all sorts of sideways. Well, he did have good intent at our... Executor Balin. You don't even want to talk to him. Yeah, fuck that guy. He's a dick. <laughs> oh, God, I guess so much other shit I gotta do tonight. I gotta edit the first Mass Effect video and get that up tonight. I threw some fucking again, Mortal Kombat footage up last night or maybe the night before it as well. Just a quick live stream blur of me fucking around with the new characters. I will return home and begin my preparations. Does not bring me happiness, but it may bring and then I gotta do some more. Um, Goodbye, I gotta finish up Silent Hill 3. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna totally do it all in one sitting. Totally didn't. <laughs> I thought you did. No, I'm gonna go on to my fucking third sitting. Okay, so we'll go straight up to the tower because we proved that dickhead wrong. Oh, we're talking about Saren? Yes. Okay. I thought we were talking about the the dude who was trying to hold the body. I was like, 
dickhead. That's a little strong for him. He had good intentions, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. We're probably talking about Saren because he is a dickhead. Fuck that guy. No, oh, yeah, we gotta head up the stairs there. You're facing isolated rumors. People whispering everywhere. Yeah, they're all whispering about you. They're all talking about you behind Come your on. back. Ulina's presenting the Florian's evidence to the council. We do not. It was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Oh, you're in the shit now, buddy. One step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking of Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. She's a pretty Major fucking big Ganesha deal. Is a powerful bionic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protoon. Then they vanished. Uh, Saren wants to bring him back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit to bringing me back. Saren's searching for me. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? <laughs> Sounds like trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Yeah. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted us before. I tried and we're to wrong. You about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the council. We all agree he's using the gas to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient oh, that's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. <laughs> a legend he is using As to always. Blind people in power not willing to accept the truth. I wouldn't go without seeing them. That just makes you seem loony. <laughs> so you pick it anyway. <laughs> of course. <laughs> a big shit eating grin on his face. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. The Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Except that dude who opposes it so heavily. Yeah, they're even looking at him like, you don't have a choice, bro, and he just fucking accepts it. He's like, fuck. Getting a promotion, son. It is the decision of the council to be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the city. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank of five. Spectres are an idea, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. 
The Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre commander. This That's technically a lie. When he was never officially inducted like this. Uh. Thanks. Yeah. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after seven. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Sick. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Woo! Upgrade, baby. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You get access to special equipment and training. You should go down to the C second cabin and speak to the Spectre requisitions. Anderson, come Which with me. The guy that I visited the shop. Yeah, and all this shit was too expensive. I'm not gonna bother doing that. <clears throat> he does have useful things, but there's nothing we can really use right now. Yeah. Yeah. Spectre training, charm and intimidate talents. I wonder if we get any extra points we can spend. We could probably throw them into the armor, combat armor. Yes, we did, and it's enough to get us our heavy armor. Nice. There we go. Sick. Oh, you can hear my arm pop. Oh, that was weak as fuck. Yeah, I was just gonna say, didn't hear no pop, pop, pop. That was a teeny one, and that was my knuckle. There we go. Oh, oh wow, that looks pink. silly. <laughs> it's Ashley's armor. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, if, I fuck it. It's, it's what I need, though. Yeah, it's about practicality at this point. It doesn't matter how doofy you look. More shields. Oh. Oh, it's my neck. Assault rifle. Ooh, better shotgun. Right, so after we're done here, we're getting right out there into the fucking... Yeah, right well, into the shit. Should be... Back to the spaceport. Yeah, and then we just fucking jet the hell out. Is it under Presidium? Uh, embassies. Oh, maybe it's under ward access then. My best guess is embassies. No, oh, maybe, yeah. Man, that fucking... Uh, the Count Lucanor, that game, it's, that is such a fucked up game. Which one? Count Lucanor? Count Lucanor. It, it just came out on the on the third. Oh, I haven't heard anything of it. Yeah, I only discovered it like a couple days before it came out, and I was super stoked to play it. It's just like... Well, it's pixelated for the most part. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's just the style it's done in. But it's got like pixel animated cutscenes and stuff like that, but it just it goes full blown fucked up after after a little while. And it's amazing. Ah, uh, here we go. Meet him at the docking bay. Okay. Really that's creepy. I don't know if I'd be comfortable with that. They just have the fucking lights on all the time, like no simulated night or anything. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal One. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and C Sec headquarters. I didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> you did that by accident. I thought you did that on purpose. No. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Log off. <laughs> There we go. Is it a 
Ward? It must be under Ward. C-Sec, Med Clinic. What the shit? Well, yeah. it's, there's only like a Citadel Tower. Where the hell was it again? I'll have to look at my map. Yeah, I was about to say, we should just check our map. So we're looking for the docking bays. Tower. Okay, so. How do I change destination? So this is for city, and I want to check the wards. And... Okay, yeah, it's got to be in the wards. You can always just jump to the wards and then fucking. And then check that map. Go straight to CSEC. Is actually going to think that I think it might be connected to CSA. Probably. Because you enter the station through the main security. Yeah, that's got to be it. Okay. Requisitions. Lower wards. Traffic control. That sounds about uh, right. You gotta make sure you got the right direction. Yeah, I just don't want to go all over the place. I think of traffic controls. Yeah, it's that way. Be it. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll find out. Yeah, straight down the hall. Hopefully, we're on the right way. I just can't remember how to get there. No, oh, what wow. I'm looking for. No. Another case of knowing what you're looking for. Which is not where it is. Uh, let's see. It's probably something like lower small wards. Insignificant. Yeah, maybe it is in the lower wards, but why won't it let us uh, quick jump there? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those things won't take us down there anyway. So we might as well just fucking head down this way. Oh, that one goes two wards. Oh, we got Tally with us. Yep. I don't know why. I thought we still had fucking Rex. Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, I like how all the aliens just speak English in, by nature. <laughs> Look at the the Star T Star Trek syndrome. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be much of an interesting game unless like there was some sort of logical reason why they were being translated. Yeah. I mean, they just have auto translators and shit, so it just always comes out as English to us, like with fucking Metal Gear Solid Three. I think I was watching Girl Gamer Gab play that, and she was like, "How come? I thought they were Russian. How come they're all speaking English?" And I'm just like, "That's just how it, it just makes it easier for us. They're actually speaking Russian, but it just comes out it's as a English." Character to us. can understand them. Yeah, so it just gives it to us in English. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the blitz. <clears throat> Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? I'm looking for the fucking port, <laughs> but I can't ask you where it is. You're probably real busy. I did find a keeper. Huh. Have we checked the map for this area? Alleyway, Upper Markets, Med Clinic. It should not be this complicated. And I know, it's like in my head, there's like something that's nagging me and being like, idiots, this way. Oh, what did that sign up there say? It said, oh. Proceeding to the wards. 
Oh. Locks. That's far. Oh. Yeah. There. It's like a club kind of place. Damn loading zones. I know. Brutal. I don't remember them being that bad. You gotta be getting close. Oh, here's some of the stores. Not gonna bother with any of you. Mm, what's down there? Huh? Ah. <laughs> Sounded like somebody really wanted to get our attention. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden ah. Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sick. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> I spent most of my time trying to stay alive <clears throat> and help the colonists. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick <laughs> Yeah. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. <laughs> so you just I'll made that guy's know. fucking mum. Next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. What a cool dude. Yay, I have fans. <laughs> Gotta be a way to get down to the fucking... This is just... Uh, yeah, I think it, I think when I played the game for the first time, the same fucking thing happened to me. This normally does not happen to me when I play these games. Oh, oh, okay, that was just rapid transit. Okay, that's just a fucking den. Keep ending <laughs> up in the same bloody places. Oh man, there's gonna be some fast forwarding happening here. Oh yeah, just walking <coughs> through. Derp de derp de der. <coughs> so you pretty much yeah. cut out most of this. Yeah, exactly. Especially since I'm just trying to clear my fucking throat the whole time. Nobody will ever know we wasted like 20 minutes because we couldn't get the fuck off of Citadel. <laughs> hey, look, I it's think right it's right supposed fucking to... there. It's right <laughs> fucking there. Or is it that one? No, no, no it isn't. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. That one said Docking Bay. Oh my god. Welcome <laughs> back, everyone. We're stupid. We are so stupid. Uh, yeah, that was, um... That was embarrassing. <laughs> that was a wild goose chase. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh god, does it, it... It's been a while since the game has made me feel that fucking dumb. Oh, it's right there! I know, it was right there. We ran past it like three or four times. Uh, I looked in every other illogical place. Oh my god. It's a good thing we're cutting all that out, because if we had left that in, people would have just been screaming at us for how fucking stupid we were. <laughs> we even stopped and I looked at the map right outside of this elevator. That's the thing, it, it just shows the elevator symbol. I don't know if you, like, if you put your cursor over it or anything, it tells you where it takes you. Hold that for this. I know. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Nomad. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Free to will. I'll take good care of her, sir. Now that sounds like forced retirement. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, sir. They were considering me for the Spectres. Oh, we already knew that. Yeah, we already got this information from asshole. Yeah, from the douche. What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Captain. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is... I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. Came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. We're gonna crush what that fuck. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know it's out. The conflict. 
He's got us get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Loveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaoh's in Loveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she'll be the first one to go after. Good idea to try and find her. That sounds like a plan. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You respect her, man. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Might be necessary. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. But now we have power. We have our I first taste of power. Anderson can answer any questions. No one can, can tell me no. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, let's get on board. Yes, Commander. I'm just trying to see if we had anything else interesting, but guess not. See you later, egghead. Later, nerds. You got my ah. sweet ass ship. Anderson's a good dude. Yeah, this is my cool. ship now. Decontamination in progress. Oh man, doing it up. Finally. Decontamination in progress. Oh come on. <laughs> Game's just gotta make your way a little bit more. It's like, hey look, you got your own ship. Yeah, you got on your own ship after wasting twenty minutes. Oh, screen pop. Watch it. Watch his watch your clothes. Uh, oh. There it is. Yeah. I'm cool with it. Yeah, we're picking up where he's leaving off. Intercom's open. Got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Yeah. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. In prime, this is our enemy knows start. we're coming. When we go into the traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain in the crowd. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can. Yes, ma'am. Six speech. Epic scene. Excellent. And now right. we dance. And now I get to fly. Fly my little ship. Yeah, we get to fucking putz around the galaxy. For what lackluster worth it is in this game. Yeah. Oh well, it's still not so bad. It's good and terrible at the same time. Oh yeah, we're gonna figure out where the hell we're going. Oh, I know. Oh shit. We're going here. Artemis Tau. Don't. I think it's which planet. Uh oh, I don't know which planet we're going to, so we'll go here. Sparta! And away we go, Normandy. Away. Oh, 
Okay, now we gotta figure out which fucking planet we're supposed to go to. Well, that one I'll probably check my log for. <laughs> Journal, yeah? Okay, that's all we get. An Artemis Tau cluster. <sighs> Alrighty yeah. then. That's it, it's a fucking goose chase. We just gotta pick a planet and hope she's on it. Or maybe it'll give us a little blurb that might help us out, I don't know. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we'll have time for a little bit of progress. A little bit of landing. Take Garrus with us and we'll take Tali with us. Oh, the Mako. There it is. Oh, sick. We get to drive around and shit. Let's say, do the level up thingy real quick. Oh, yes. I guess that's where it's coming from. Maybe, sort of. Wait, what? No. Can't remember how to get out. <laughs> there. Oh, there you go. Just gotta be still. Is that where it's coming from? No, no I guess not. I guess it's just burnt out. Holy shit, that thing handles like a fucking turns on a dime. And that's what makes it so shitty. That doesn't seem all that bad. Uh oh. It's just so weird. Yeah, I imagine it probably does feel a little bit weird. Oh, there's stuff going on over there. Resources. Woo! Go, 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 go! Like a big rigs over the road. She's <laughs> just straight up a fucking wall. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Six stars, motherfucker. Space truck. Uh oh. 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 Uh. Really? You gotta play Simon Says for minerals? Yep. Huh. Polonium. Mm. Yes, quite. Mm, yes, indeed. Mm. Polonius. I wonder if the uh, distress signal shows up on our map. Might be able to actually get a... Oh, okay. Okay, that's the dis anomalies. Okay, so we'll check out the distress signal. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan as any. Oh, oh shit. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? No. Oh, God. Oh, shit. It won't flip. Yeah. It never that. goes upside down. Oh, man, that thing's fucking... Oh, Jesus. Straight up the fucking wall. Oh. oh, oh. No. No. <laughs> oh, that did not go as expected. Oh, hello, red thing on the radar. Uh, it's just the edge of the map. Oh. Woo! It's like, they had a really good idea with this, but... Like, all the maps are pretty much like Empty. this. 
I mean, understandable, like a lot of planets out there would be empty. But well, yeah, I see what you mean. It would be nice to have something interesting to look at, and there aren't too many planets like that. Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> what the hell was that? That was a sweet fucking Loop lift off. Loop? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say we should probably check our map. Okay, we gotta make a hard right. Oh, there it is. That's where it's coming from. Uh, it does not look like a good place. This looks like the type of place I hate. Yeah, this looks like a fight. Yeah, this is uh, probably a worm fight. And in which case, uh, you guys get to see one of my least favorite parts of this friggin' game. Uh, an Alliance Marine. There it is. Oh, shit. Holy shit. That thing looks like a dick. They really are. And they do so much damage. Well, the best thing you can do, don't get hit. And that's all you get is your rail gun, too. Well, you get, it's got a uh, machine oh. gun. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, that messed me up. Oh. Uh, and that's it. Holy shit. Two hits is all it takes. That was brutal. We'll go until we beat the worm. The worm must die. Uh, it's not even a main mission either. It's just... It's just a fucking side quest. Well. Maybe. I don't know. No, oh, okay, at least so spawn us right here. I hate those worms so much. Yeah, that looked quite dickish. Well, just, you can't stop because they hit you and it just mangles you. And, uh, too bad there isn't an easier way to move and drive. Or, yeah, uh, I mean, move and shoot. This what comes down to is it gets really hard and really awkward to move and shoot and not stop. I imagine your main cannon probably fucking helps a lot. It does if you don't land a hit. A good hit. Ow. Ah, see? Oh shit. Oh no, no, no. This is not gonna go well. Why are you repairing now? Uh oh. Oh, that was bullshit. You healed, dude. The fucking worm. <sighs> the fucking worm, dude. That's some bullshit. They're even worse on hardcore. Oh, I bet it's probably just one shot and you're dead. It's like, oh, hope you liked life. You might as well not have been in a tank. Probably would have had less of difficulty hitting you, or more difficulty hitting you, I mean. Yeah. Or it would just fucking come up underneath you and kill you. At least it'd be quicker than burning alive inside a tank. Yeah. Or maybe you just swoop in, talk to the guard, and get the fuck out of there. That would be nice. Actually, he probably wouldn't talk to you. Yeah. No, he's unconscious. He's dead. Ow. Or dead. Oh, really? Really? Just... Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. That worm is not friendly. It's no one fucking around. It isn't. That thing's a dick. And you know what's the worst part? They're on so many planets. Yeah, they're just all over the place. Yeah, you do actually get used to fighting them and they do get easier. I imagine, like, the trick is to just keep your distance. Okay, Mr. Worm. The fourth time's the charm. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. I really hope you guys are having more fun laughing at our just ridiculous fuck-ups. Or at but least how shitty I'm doing at this. Fuck you! Yeah, no kidding. Uh oh. No! 
Oh, I wonder if you get far enough away, it'll stop chasing you long enough to heal. I think it will, but... You just have to make sure you keep your distance. He's behind you. Yeah. What a dick! Yeah, I kinda wonder if he stays in that pit. Maybe. Oh, I'm gonna try and repair. God, this sucks that you can't move when you repair, but I guess that would be too OP. Actually, when you're not under attack, that, that goes a lot quicker. I think you need to keep repairing. Yeah. Your vehicle's super fucked. <sighs> <laughs> you're not gonna repair again? Yeah, you have to wait for the timer. Thing. Oh, but I didn't realize it was on cooldown. It's got cooldown, yeah. Oh man, that does not repair enough. No. Dude. It's like one hit and you're still fucking dead. It's basically wasted all that repair shit. Yeah. Oh my god, your minigun barely does anything to that. I don't even know where it is. It, it always, for the most part, it tries to pop up behind you. Oh. Yeah, but at least from that distance, he can't fucking get you. You just don't stick around too close to him. Cause that's how he always seems to fuck you. Okay, you got this. Uh oh. Nice. Yeah, now you got it. Oh, he just went back under. Yep. God, these things are such dicks. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's behind you. I just realized that you can fucking catch him on your radar. That makes things a shit ton easier. Yeah. Jason's so focused right now. Uh, just don't get fuck up my driving path because I can't drive in a straight line towards or away from him. Yeah, because he's giving you with that, that range shot. All these angles. Yeah. Oh, what the? Yeah. He's coming right back out the same goddamn hole. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he's a fucking dick like that. Oh, shit. No, that wasn't that bad. Uh, I didn't know if he was facing me or not, though. Oh, oh, wow. Drive! Drive! Don't drive in a straight line. That was just shit! What was, the? He just came up under you. Dude. Oh, watch out for that thing. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, what a prick. Oh, he's behind you. Fuck. Die! No shit. Oh, same spot. <sighs> Fuck, that shell almost got him. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Save. Save now. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Oh, dude. God damn. Look at my tank. Oh, no, it's fucked. <laughs> you just fucking jumped on that dude. Well, at least the fire's gone. Redeploy. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured 
Oh yeah, they're just super dead. What what the hell was that? They were lured here by the distress beacon. I heard an explosion though. Well, I guess that's all it is. Might as well just hop back in and jump back to the Normandy. That's it? Yeah. There's no like lootable shit? No prize? Just <laughs> No, we just just the fucking thresher worm. We just that wasted our time. Really all I can remember. Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude. Uh, yeah, fuck that thing in particular. Here? How are we looking on time? Uh, we're sitting at 55 minutes. Yeah, we'll call this one as soon as we get back up to Normandy. Oh, dude, this whole episode <sighs> was a fucking waste of time. It's just a big pump. Just one big... Yep. <laughs> Shit pump. Oh, my God. That was so brutal. Uh, well, <clears throat> hope like, you enjoyed it anyway. Yeah, like, subscribe, and all that bullshit. See you guys next episode. Yes. Peace.